Today, we have a bunch of special guests. <laughs> what? Here, we'll introduce them one by one. Hello! I'm Ellen. I'm Brian. Today, we'll be doing an updated Q&A. Last time, we told you guys on our Instagrams to ask some questions. And our Instagrams are... At Ellen Mint. At Brian Kevley. <laughs> So make sure you go follow those because we post lots of covers that we sometimes don't post to mm -hmm. YouTube and we post also a lot of our Story. daily life stuff. And EB Life! EB Life is our couple account that we opened recently yes. so make sure you to give that a follow as well. And we just came up with the name EB E E B E E because mm -hmm. E B. <laughs> oh! You know what you forgot to say? Well, we divided our questions into two categories. So uh, one is gonna be like personal, related to us, mm -hmm, which is like, in this Q&A, yeah. and then all the more like dance-related yes. questions will be in our next Q&A. That's specifically for dancing. Yeah, anyways, okay, so let's start with all this right. one. First question is, how old are you and Brian? I am 24. I am 23. Your ethnicity. <sighs> We are both Chinese. Yes. But we were both born in America, so we're Chinese American. Correct. Where are you from? Where are you from? I was born in Reno, Nevada. Ooh. And then I moved to Fremont, California, where mm -hmm. I kind of grew up from like one year old to nine years old. <laughs> and then I moved to Shanghai. And then you can continue your story. Okay, okay. My story <laughs> is I was born in Philadelphia, which is in Pennsylvania. And then I moved to Shanghai when I was seven. We went to the same middle school and same high school, which is where we met. Mm -hmm. And then I came here to LA um, for college, for UCLA. And I went to Richmond, Virginia, where I went to University of Richmond for college as well. Mm. And, then, and then we both graduated last, last year, year, like one and a half year ago. Mm -hmm. And then now we just both work and live here in LA. Yeah. Long story. Long <laughs> story. Can and you guys be Korean slash Chinese and English. or English? <laughs> so we can both speak Chinese and English fluently because we both grew up speaking like half Chinese, half English. Yes. And then Korean wise, I took two years of Korean in college, <laughs> but it wasn't very serious, so I'm not that good. She's yeah. definitely better than me. I know most like really um, very basic, common words. Like hello. Like hello. Thank like, you. Like sorry. <laughs> Where's the, Where's the bathroom? bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> what are your Chinese names, if you have any? We both have Chinese names. Mine is called Ming Hui. Ming is my last name. Hui means intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is Li Jiende. Li so Jiende. Li is my last name, so Brian Li. And Jin is build, whereas De is morals. So build morals. What did you guys major in college? I majored in psychology, and even though you didn't ask, I minored in entrepreneurship. <laughs> <laughs> I majored in business administration and I concentrated in marketing and I minored in psychology. May I ask what your guys' jobs are? And so our jobs are completely different because we work full time and I work at a gaming company right now and Ellen works at it. I work in the education industry. Yeah. What do you guys look forward to every day? I look forward to eating good food every day. Mm. Mm. And then um, going to work is fun. Coming back, knowing what we plan to do for that evening is yeah. also really fun. Because yeah. we, we always know like, oh, Monday we're learning this, Tuesday we're filming that, Wednesday mm. we're chilling. So, chilling. So those kind of plans are something that I look forward to every day. Yeah, we usually discuss like what we do uh, the next day or like in the next week and we plan it out and so that way we are very structured we know exactly what we're gonna do even if it's just like we schedule a day where it's just like we chill we go on we a date go on a day outside no computer no phones and just mm. chill and 
those days are also just as nice. Mm. Mm. Moving on to K-pop related questions. Who's your favorite girl, girl group, group, boy, boy group, group, and bias. biases? Biases. biases. <laughs> Gotta have multiple, you know. Yeah. My favorite girl group at the moment is Blackpink. I say Red Velvet. Mm. Mm. That's my second. That's my second. <laughs> and my bias in Blackpink is Jenny. Jenny. Mm. Same. Silky in Red Velvet. Irene in Red Velvet. <laughs> <laughs> Me. And then the boy group, I think we have the same bias group. It's NCT. NCT. <laughs> <laughs> but um, our second is BTS. BTS. Okay. <laughs> and our biases, oh, they're different. They're different for both groups. Mm, my bias in NCT is Taeyong. And my bias is Mark. And for BTS, my bias is V. My bias is Jungkook. Yeah. We like a lot, a lot of K-pop groups. You can tell <laughs> by. Um, the amount of different covers, covers that we do. Even the ones that we don't cover, we like them too. Who is your favorite main dancer? <gasps> Just, Just main I guess like who's your favorite K-pop dancer? dancer. Okay, yeah. Oh, so many. Mm. Mine's Lisa. List? Okay. Just list whoever you want. Lisa and Solgi for girls. And then I Taeyong, agree on those two. Taeyong and Jungkook for guys. Okay. I agree with the first two, the mm -hmm. girls, and then for the guys, uh, I also, of course, really like Taeyong and Jungkook, but I also like Ten and Jimin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And we're saying favorites, not like yeah. best. Not who we think is we like just... best. That's a different story, even mm -hmm. though it may overlap, different story. <laughs> what is your favorite Thank NCT you. group and what is your favorite NCT song? My favorite, one to seven. Mm, I like you. <laughs> you? <laughs> um, I like you too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I like one to seven because Cherry Bomb's my favorite. However, I really, really, really liked NCTU's Boss. boss. Mm, I like NCTU Boss and NCTU Baby Don't Stop mm. and NCTU. Uh, seven cents, mm. but of course, I'm gonna say my favorite NCT song is actually Limitless. Oh! If you were to join an entertainment company in Korea, which company and why? Ooh! Well, I don't even know what your answer is anymore. You don't know? I think you know mine. Yours? Yeah, mine's pretty easy. Yours would be SM. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm a very SM image kind of person. Wow. Hmm? <laughs> I don't, um, yeah, I think so. For me, it would either be SM or YG. However, I will go with SM if I could choose. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge SM Town fan. Have you guys been to any BTS concerts? Yes, you've been to two. Mm -hmm. First one was Wings Tour in Newark. New Jersey, mm -hmm. 2017. Oh, yes. And then the second one was in LA. Love Yourself Tour, September. We went to Staples first Center. Day. Mm. First day Wednesday. That was so good. Wednesday. That was Wednesday. Wednesday. So good. Mm -hmm. I also bought the, the army bomb. Mm -hmm. Do you want to audition to an entertainment company? I really want you guys to become mm -hmm. idols. Um, in our last Q&A, we talked about our past experiences, but moving forward, um, I don't think we will be auditioning mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, I think we are people. like too old now. Yeah, that, and it's not, it's not the very life we wanted. Correct, mm -hmm. yeah. We like our lives right now mm -hmm. because like we, we have, we have the job, job we like, and then we and have then, a passion mm -hmm. that we like, like doing covers mm -hmm. and doing like YouTube, channel, YouTube stuff, Instagram. Instagram. It's really fun for us because we really genuinely love to dance and yeah. even like for me, I love to edit and I'm trying to get Ellen to edit more too. So like all of these things uh, creative wise, I think really 
makes us happy too. Mm, I just really like the freedom mm -hmm. and we have our life, I wouldn't say planned out, but like obviously we want to like start a family, get a house here, and like we have our friends here, so we don't want to leave here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, idle life is very tough. tough. Yeah, lots of hard work every day and, and like luck not too. really too much time to choose your schedule where we can mm. choose our schedule. But that's also why we respect them so much. Of course. Moving on to covers and social media related questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, what got you into making covers and tutorials? I did a lot of covers back then, but I never did... Back when? Like 2009. Mm. My first cover, um, which is a, not a video, but a Performance, performance at our high school. It was in ninth grade. That was 2010, and I did a cover of Run Devil Run. So that was my first cover, like eight years ago. And then throughout the years, I just really like K-pop. We didn't really do covers together as a couple, and that's something that we really wanted to do because we were doing long distance for four years, going to different colleges in different states. Yeah. We weren't able to dance together, which right. was something we really missed. Mm -hmm. So once yeah. we because we did in, we did perform together in, in like high school high school. And then after we moved in here in our apartment, one day we were just like, let's, let's learn, this, learn dance. this dance. It was together. one on one's energetic. Yeah. A lot of people like responded and were really supportive. So then we just started like that. Yeah. And then what inspired us to do tutorials because. I really enjoyed teaching K-pop dancing at school. We would learn the dances and then or teach like other make members. the dances and then teach other mm. members. So we really had like a passion for teaching. Mm -hmm. But then after we graduated, I feel like I could help a lot of people make it a little bit easier to learn K-pop dances because I know when I learned, I was always just in my room looking at my reflection from the window at night mm -hmm. and then like slowing down the music video or practice videos. It wasn't hard, like that's still what we do. Yeah. But I feel like after I we put in the time into learning it and then if we could translate that into easier language and better explanation details and stuff to those who just started learning dancing that could be helpful yeah and i would wish that i would watch like those videos when i when first, first started, started dancing mm -hmm. okay so the next question is what inspired you to start your youtube channel mm. so the tutorial was one reason and then the other reason was you oh yeah i love <laughs> to edit videos i wanted to get more into like cinematography editing. and like editing and post-processing stuff mm -hmm. so like as you guys can see sometimes our vlogs has some cute editing moments like our Disney vlog when we at the start of our Disney vlog I really wanted to make like my own feel of that video and so I spent a lot of time on that editing it so yeah our vlogs are where I experiment mm -hmm. and like our recent KDA cover um, mm. we, I experimented on as well, like I added special effects and like lots of different masking so that we could like appear and disappear. So that was a passion of mine and I wanted to have something to motivate me to keep mm. doing that. How long does it take to complete a whole dance cover? Let's first start with the shorter covers and then we can talk about the long. Shorter covers? If it's just a chorus, which is usually like 30 seconds long, it would take about like 20 minutes to learn. Mm. Mm -hmm. Depending on how hard yeah. it ranges from Depending 15 on the length, minutes to like, like 45 minutes mm -hmm. for like hard ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, depends on the length and the difficulty and how much they repeat a certain <laughs> co combo. If it's a full dance, like three to four minutes long, mm -hmm. I would say it takes up to, let's say like two to three hours up to learning like five everything. to six hours. Yeah, yeah. everything because really? that's the whole song. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of choreo. So I would say full covers mm -hmm. after I take like three to four hours to learn, take another two or three hours to choose the outfits, learn the lyrics, practice, just finalize everything. And then the actual filming process is probably another three to five hours. It depends. 
Yeah, it depends on really our depends body on state condition. Of, yeah. Our and how what time of day. Yeah. Well, how the week went even. Yeah, and if I got sleep the day before. <laughs> <laughs> and then the choreo choreography, choreography difficulty. Yeah, and then sometimes it's like depending on the shoes and the clothing too. Oh, yeah, like. yeah. And then Brian edits it for like another one hour. In conclusion, it takes many hours. Many and hours. <laughs> can't really say. Yeah. So, yeah. it depends. Mm -hmm. How do you balance your time from work and creating dance videos? So mainly it's just planning out our whole days or weeks, even the months. Sometimes I'll say like this month we're gonna do this, this. Mm -hmm. Next month we're gonna do that, that, that. Yeah. yeah. So it's just having a nice plan and don't we try not to waste too much time. Mm -hmm. So when we come back home from work, then we if we schedule like two hours to eat, then we go, eat, go out to eat for two hours and then come back and then dance or film or edit or do whatever you want to do. Yeah. yeah. That being said, we always plan according to what we're feeling, what the whole circumstance is like. So if we're very tired and then we were supposed to do something, sometimes we will prioritize we'll sleeping. We'll cancel it. Yeah, we will <laughs> move it to the next yeah, day. Health is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. What's your biggest fear with the internet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Biggest fear? I think generally we're pretty okay, especially like dealing with if it's like hate comments or like criticism, I think that's okay because we respect everyone's opinion. Like, yeah. like even like a lot of K-pop idols get a lot of hate comments too. That's just how the, the society works. is. Yeah, that, I think that's okay. Those are understandable. Yeah. And if it's like constructive criticism, then we try to take that yeah. in. Even if it's like not worded constructively, sometimes it may be true. Yeah. And so we try to Important avoid to the yeah. um, negative emotions that come from it and then take away the constructive the message. message. Yeah. But I know like one thing that I don't like, not really like a fear, but one thing that I don't like is when people like assume things or like misunderstand you before you even get a chance to, to say, say something. something. For example, if some people just go like, why don't you like this group? Why don't you, why didn't you cover this song? Like stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times we covered them before, like many, many times. So, and I don't know why people just like, Yeah, and a lot of people will assume that, that we don't just like because we don't do a specific cover, Means that you don't we like don't like them. the group, which but that's definitely doesn't make not sense. not true. I just wish people can ask. How do you keep going? What motivations do you have? I think there are many, many motivations. One of them being like our passion for yeah. dancing and K-pop because we like we just really like to do this. So this is our number one hobby. And then second would be like um, just dancing together and doing stuff together. I feel like it's really, really fun because. I feel like we missed out a lot in college. We weren't able to do stuff together. So now we really enjoy that. Mm. And then, for me at least, because I eat so much food, <laughs> so I guess we eat the same food, but like dancing is always my motivation for exercising so that I can eat more food after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, really though. Not burn off the food, but more eat more food. Eat more, <laughs> yeah, eat more food after. There are other motivations too, like all of our followers, obviously. You guys are always commenting and like liking our stuff and watching, so it's really, really encouraging. We try to read all of the comments. So it's really nice reading that and knowing that so many people are here for us. And it makes us feel very um, happy. happy that what we are putting out there is um, appreciated. Mm. Like yeah. even if there was no one watching, we would have done this. But because there are so many people supporting that just adds on to the, the fun. extra motivation, <laughs> extra happiness, mm. extra fun. Ooh, I like this question. Do you prefer covering cute concepts or badass concepts? Badass concepts. Ah, <laughs> sure. I, I wish they added more other... I'm gonna create this question. Okay, we can, we can add like more criteria. You wouldn't choose cute. I also wouldn't choose cute, right? I, I would yeah. not choose I feel cute. like dance wise, we don't... We would prefer Ellen, the other ones. You do more like... That question. I like girl crush, <laughs> but I would prefer that kind of concept for girl dances or a little more like like elegant or sexy like that type for guy dances. I personally like listening to emotional ones, mm. but I do not enjoy 
doing yeah. those as much. Mm. I actually enjoy doing the very feely ones, which Ooh. often include like sexy ones. Blood, sweat, and tears? Yes, yeah, so like, mm. like have lots of feels to it. Mm -hmm. More so like towards breathing kind of feel. A breathing kind of choreography. Serendipity? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. serendipity. Like Live. All of Jimin. <laughs> Jimin song. Pretty much. Singularity is good. Mm. Blood, sweat, and tears. And then like NCT songs are also very feely just mm. in a completely different way. But in the end, we like to do all of them. What are some pros and cons of doing dance covers as a couple? Mm, good I like question. This question yeah. I don't think anyone ever asked that question before. Pros and cons. I would say the pros are it's really fun and you can motivate each other because when you dance by yourself it's easy to get like discouraged. Yeah, de discouraged so you can motivate each other when the other person is down yeah and then the second one would be it's easier to coordinate mm. i was gonna say like if it's like a group of seven if there's only two of you you can kind of just like we like split off the members like oh you do Jimin and V, I'll do Jungkook and Ratmon and then for this time like like that. Yeah, so we split it it's all. It's nice. Up. It's and easy then, to split. Yeah, a lot of the time because we have slightly different dance, uh, style. dance styles, it often like oh Works you out. fit in this. Yeah, one, you're I fit you're in better this at this one. move. You stand in the front and yeah, then we'll yeah. see you here. <laughs> Yeah. So, so that's really nice. So formation wise, also pretty easy. The dynamics also, I think, like mm -hmm. we we like switching formations a lot, even making our own formations mm -hmm. based yeah. off of our, the original like, choreography. When they have so many people doing different things, we're like, okay, do you want to be like <laughs> who the, do we the two people on the floor, two people standing? <laughs> do you want to like do the interaction thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like especially when we did fake love, there was so much going on. Yeah. So it's actually really fun, mm -hmm. like choosing whose part to do, and then like you can already see it. Oh, we let's do this and that. And, like, yeah. When they like, you know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but then I thought of some cons too. Yeah. Which isn't a problem, I just thought of it because <laughs> mm -hmm. I would say one would be like to be in sync Obviously compared to like solo dancers, mm -hmm. two people is much harder Like I would even say it's harder than a group of people because when it's just two of you like any differences would be spotted Directly so, spotted, yeah. yeah Once you get more than two, it's like it's, suddenly more okay Yeah, like if you see seven people and then they're all kind of doing Kind of doing it differently, it's actually okay because as long as the general like the vibe picture and is the together. Vibe but is the, when there's only two people, like any differences will, will be seen. So uh, synchronization would be one thing that we would need to work on or something that we focus on a lot because mm -hmm. it's important. And then I guess the other one would be like Brian can't really do a lot of girl dances with me, mm. even though sometimes like he would really like a girl dance song but he can't really do it with me. So those I would have to just do by myself. Now on to the relationship question. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, how did you guys meet? Tell us your love story. <laughs> we met in middle school in sixth grade. We went to the same middle school and then we both transferred to another school and then both transferred to another school. When we were in that high, same high school, I joined the dance team and then he joined shortly after me, I did mm -hmm. and then we like became really good teammates so we were both co-captains of the same dance team the varsity dance team at our school mm -hmm. so then like we had to plan on and stuff talk a lot, work out a lot of things for the team yeah. and then and then one day and then one day something happened but we're gonna have another vlog on this <laughs> <laughs> well Lady came and it's out <laughs> Subscribe. Keep an eye out for that. After that, we did long dance. Long dance distance. <laughs> we, did, we did long distance for four years because we went to different colleges and then we got back together. Yeah. We were, we were always dating. <laughs> we physically go back together. Never mind. <laughs> How long have you guys been dating? We just celebrated our 70 months. So, uh, almost six years. Two, less two. than two months to our six years. Six anniversary. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever talked about having kids? Yes, we have. A long time ago. 
And then since a long time ago. Since a long time ago. Yeah. We've been talking about it again recently. Mm -hmm. We want two kids. <laughs> we already came up with the name, but we're not gonna say it. Mm, yeah, we want, we do want a boy and a, and a girl. But whatever ideally, happens, happens. Yes, ideally, first the boy, then the girl, mm -hmm. right? But honestly, anything is fine. Two kids. What do you appreciate most from each other? Mm. Brian's always willing to help anyone for anything. Like the gen, you're genuinely nice. Not that I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you know what I mean though? Yeah. I think he's just like, because his Chinese name is Building Morals. I really feel that way that he, he's like so, so nice to everyone and then always caring about people. Like not just me, but like everyone. So I really appreciate that. Mm. And also he's really into everything that he likes like when he when he wants to edit he like watches tons of YouTube videos to learn how to do it and then get it right do it perfectly like mm, I appreciate the passion and effort <laughs> <laughs> what I appreciate most about Ellen, <laughs> Ellen huh? is she's always positive and this is like positive about everything like even if it's in a negative way even if she's sad she always looks at it more positively mm. yeah so um sometimes when i am not as positive she always makes me see the positive <laughs> light and it makes me more positive yeah. and she always tries to make me better person she always tries to make me, me too. think in a different way. Mm. Yeah. I value that a lot. Thanks. And then I have my small money. <laughs> Pep -pan. Moving on to fun <laughs> random miscellaneous question. Yeah. What are your favorite hobbies besides dancing? Oh, besides dancing, there's food, there's gaming. For Brian, what kind of games do you like? Okay, so this one, the whole gaming history of my life. First, King Pokemon. <laughs> Woo! When I was five, <laughs> yeah, I played all the Pokemon generation. Yeah, and I know almost, almost all the Pokemon. All. <laughs> and then I started playing more FPS games like Overwatch. I used to, I got into it through Call of Duty and then I played Cover Overwatch and I also played a lot of Dota 2. And now I want to try to get more into League, but that is tentative. <laughs> and then Nintendo games. Nintendo games. All Mario. All Mario related things. We bought all the Super Smash Bros. Overcooked. Over, oh, she mm. loves Overcooked. We, I love Overcooked. We stream, too, we stream. Oh, yeah, on yeah, Twitch. yeah. If you guys so, like to watch us play games or just follow cool life in general, on twitch.tv slash Ellen and Brian. Mm. We stream a lot, just like randomly talking, like just chatting. Gaming. And we stream like even our dance covers. Mm -hmm. You can so, watch us film. Sometimes live. we have guests over. So yeah, follow us on Twitch. Yeah. Okay, okay. And download the app so you get a notification. And join our Discord. We talk in there. Do you have a custom bubble tea order? Boba. Ready? Regular. No, 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 we gotta say it together. Okay? Five, six. Regular no tea with, with boba, boba, no ice, seventy-five percent sugar. sugar. <laughs> okay, the next question is in Chinese. 希望哥哥姐姐能用中文给中国粉丝打个招呼呀. Okay, so this person asked us to say hi to our in Chinese, Chinese fans in Chinese. Yes. So. 你好. 你好. 希望, 嗯, 让你们很开心, <laughs> Were you and Ellen good students when you were in school? How could you integrate dancing in your daily school life? Because I just can't find a moment to dance more. 
What advice would you give to a student who is so busy but loves dancing? Mm, I would say we were pretty good students <laughs> uh, in school because school was always like my priority. I, I wouldn't let myself go dancing or go out to hang out with friends unless I know that I'm ready for like whatever my homework exam. Like make sure that's good. And mainly I think it's just like time management, knowing your priorities, knowing how much time each thing will take, mm. and then um, planning that out. Mm. I would like, let's say, go to class, and then I have dance practice for, I don't know, however many hours, and then I would go home and then study for how many hours, and then sleep. So just knowing that I have enough time to do everything that I wanted to do. Yeah. Mm. And make sure you prioritize everything in your life where you know exactly what your priorities are and kind of like rank them kind of mentally oh I would prefer to do this over that I would suggest for you to do that instead mm -hmm. so if you can't find a moment to dance more perhaps maybe you should stop doing some other things that mm -hmm. you may prioritize less than dancing and try to switch the schedule where Around. you prioritize dancing a little bit more because like everyone should have at least some time in maybe not the day maybe not two days but maybe like a week or even like two weeks you'll definitely have some time to lay out for dancing mm -hmm. and so try to find those times and even if it's not that much time try to use it wisely and dance mm -hmm. as much as you can improve as much as you can because sometimes even though you don't have that much time to do what you love, you can do it efficiently and improve, mm -hmm. or even if you don't want to improve, just enjoy the time that you spend mm -hmm. doing what you love. And I think it's a lot easier if you're in middle school and high school, because what we did was we just had school every day from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then we so just had dance. Our dance practice was every day from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So that's three hours a day, and that's like a lot of time we mm -hmm. got a lot done every single day this mm -hmm. was in high school so i feel like once you, when you have your set schedule if you're in middle school and high school you can just set your practice like right after that mm -hmm. and then we will get or at least i would get home at like 7 or 8 p.m so then eat dinner mm -hmm. and then the rest of the night goes to studying school, yes. and then after i study we like we can talk and like talk to your friends and like i don't know watch youtube that kind of stuff so like it was very like just well planned, I feel like. You can join a dance team if your school has one. If it doesn't, then maybe you can make one. Mm. <laughs> and going into our last question. Can you share your best experience in your life? I feel like my personal best, I have two. Two? I have two. One was when we danced with Turbo, mm. Kim Jungkook. Mm -hmm. um, at KCON LA 2016. 2016. Yeah, because that was our first time being at Staples Center and we were able to perform on stage. So that was really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I I wish I can go back to that moment to relive. Yeah. Like I wish we vlogged back then. Yeah. So we would have had footage. Now yeah. we're like like I lost all my footage. Yeah, all we phone. all we can have is like some pictures and like online Our videos. Online, the, the official videos, but yeah. and I feel like we didn't cherish that moment enough as like, much as yeah. we it's would always have like now. that. Yeah. Even BTS was there yeah, at Twice K was there 2016. Too. I still like clearly remember every moment yes. from it. So that was like one of the best experiences working with artists and performing in front of so many people it's like sharing the dream stage. come true for me yeah sharing the stage <laughs> with a well-known artist is very yeah. is not something you get very often yeah so we were really lucky and thankful for the opportunity and then i, I my second one would be this year when we performed at club kcon mm -hmm. so it was also also kcon la but it was club kcon and at that LA Convention Center, that was a really, really big moment for me because that was our first time we performed just us two, a On full a twenty minute set. Yeah. Yeah. So like it was significant in that we were performing together. Just as Ellen and Brian. 
And then there was the significance that we shared the stage with many other big name artists. Like we never performed such a long set before. Mm -hmm. We stayed up a lot that week, but we put together six songs. It's on our YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. Um, that was really, really fun. And also we had a lot of friends who were watching us. And then the crowd was just really amazing. Like mm -hmm. we could hear people cheering for us. So, and just now I'm, I'm glad we had really good footage of it. So mm -hmm. like every time well, I watch I it, remember. my heart's just like, <gasps> <laughs> yeah, and that was also day one of KCON LA, so it was like really good experience. So one of the happiest days of 2018. Right? Our lives. Or even our lives. Oh yeah. It was such a nice um, opportunity. So thank everyone for that. That's it for our Q&A. Thank you guys for watching. Please look forward to our second one which is going to be more dance related so yeah. for those of you who are interested in how, how we, we learn how we improve ourselves or how uh, we look at a dance mm -hmm. how we think about dancing yeah just anything related to dancing k-pop dancing or dancing in general please watch that one and don't forget to follow us on instagram twitch discord twitter and Links facebook will all be down there yeah Thank you guys! Happy holidays! We'll see you in the next video. Yay! Bye!